next moment. The ministry was uh, uh, complemented by auxiliaries known as St. Michael's Auxiliary or Conservancy. And I'm wondering if there's anybody in the audience today that might be related to Mrs. Albert Funk or Connie Sauter or Pat Scamp or Elsie Root or Kitty Marco or Manny Welch. Any of these descendants here today? Yeah. <laughs> These ladies serve a uh, fake butternut coffee label. They make cherry cloth aprons and sold candles. They and the sisters sponsor picnics and make sales, pinching every penny to squeal. <laughs> they did garden therapy, so like me, teachers, were drivers and tutors for the children and provided hot dogs and cookies for social events. I think it is accurate to say that the orphanages were antecedent to the, to the diocesan Catholic Welfare Bureau, which was now, is now known as Catholic Charity and to the current Family and Children Center of La Crosse. Both organizations, we provide government and su uh, financial support, and we now partner with other people of the community who care about the orphans of our time, the abused, those with behavioral challenges, and the neglected from the dysfunctional families of our society. This partnering with others represents a movement toward authentic communion with all the faithful, representing the church with the heart that stakes everything in charity. It is this common vocation, this charity, this love alone that enables us to act together to preach the gospel. I share with you a relevant paragraph from our current constitution that motivates and inspires us to act as we do today in his name. It is found in number seven, the section on about poverty. It reads, as followers of St. Francis, we journey in the spirit of the Beatitudes, living simply, gratefully aware of the riches that are ours in Christ Jesus. As a congregation of Franciscan women, we give corporate witness to poverty by promoting human development through our ministerial and financial contributions as our needs allow for the needs of the church and the support of the poor. We value deeply our communion with the Diocese of La Crosse as we continue to make our influence felt through our witness of prayer and the sharing of our blessings given us by our Creator. Paraphrasing Thomas Merton, we find ourselves praying like this. In our complete poverty, we have nothing to give. Full of grace, we want nothing more but only to stay here praying for more love to give back. God speaks loudly in the depths of our energy, saying, I will pour out my spirit upon my children, and they shall spring up among the herbs and willows beside the running waters. Indeed, it is imperative for us to remain attuned to this spirit, to continue to stake everything in charity. Thank you very much.